we've got Dick and Dave, and Ken is here with us also. And we're not going to waste another minute of their precious screen time. We want to get to all of their suggestions for the weekend, and what's more, ha, my favorite part, Ken has his cachaça, right? Cachaça. Cachaça. It rhymes with Mufasa. Mufasa, or Mufasa. Mufasa. One more. That is Brazilian rum for those of you who don't know, and he needs time to put it to good use. Yeah. So let us formally welcome back the aforesaid Ken Gray, beverage consultant for Ward 3. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Give it up for Ken Gray. Ken Gray, Ken everybody. Gray, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. And of course, Dick and Dave Richard Burroughs of The Brooklyn Reader. Oi, oi, oi. And David Colon of Brooklyn.com. Hi. Before we get to you guys' picks for the weekend, I do want to say one pick I have is tonight at Splitty, Brooklyn Independent Media will be filming the 8 p.m. comedy what? show there. Wait, do you do hey, that? Do you, Splitty do you in do Brooklyn, 8 p.m. Come to Splitty tonight Lucky. in Brooklyn <laughs> at 8 p.m. And Ken, I'm what are the excited. drinks that you have for us today? Uh, we are making caipirinhas, caipirinhas with Brazilian cachaça. Um, mm. Cachaça being a little bit different than rum, cachaça's... Uh, fresh pressed cane juice rather than oh, rum being yeah. distilled from the byproduct of making sugar molasses. I'm but, into it. Yeah. I need my cane juice. You're right? <laughs> a little, right? You are mad hype. Right now, he can't right. wait for this drink to get started. So, so. And we've got a fun little product as well. Uh, Novo Fogo has this little hyperina kit. It comes with a bottle, a muddler, two glasses. Um, so basically, if you're going to the beach, you're going to the park, um, you can take this with house. you, right? This is a good going to the rooftop. Gift. Absolutely, you know. You can go for anybody who's coming yeah. to my house this summer. Right. And making Serve these guys, right. you've got the jars. Listen. You got a nice little lime here. You just give it a little coarse oh. cut on top. Oh, nice. A little bit of sugar. I'm into it. Okay. Nice. And nice. And then a little bit of muddlin, and uh, then we'll have these guys a little muddle. Cool. So you muddle away. Let's talk about what's cracking. What's going this weekend, on? Wait, well, you know, I think first of all we should say that it's it's maybe one more, one and a half more weeks left of spring. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think we should all get up and get out and get social. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because um, soon it's going to be 98 and sticky and it's going to smell like True. bad kimchi and, True. and struggle. True. That's the best time of the year. He said bad kimchi and struggle. <laughs> right. Um, one so, of the same. Damn. Right. <laughs> right. But this Saturday. Um, HIP is um, a really great, lit, it's a, like a lit, it's like a quarterly lit event. Um, so they have um, sort of like, lit, like writers on the edge, as they call it. I don't know what that edge is. Maybe it's the guy say. from um, the band, where's that Bono's guy? Um, but <laughs> basically, um, it's literary, it's a lit event, but as a full on event with like music and they have, you know, some of the authors reading, they have palmetry, like people reading your palms, which is kind of, you know, creepy sometimes. Um, but it could be really revealing, so you might not want to know your future, like I, won't, I don't want to know mine. Um, but that's going to be at B Electric, which is a 1298 Willoughby. And it's a twelve dollar cover, but with that twelve dollars, twelve dollars, with that twelve dollars, wait, twelve dollar before you holla, before you holla, okay, you should right. know that you Sorry. get two drink tickets with it. Okay, okay. okay so okay, you okay. literally <laughs> are just buying two drinks. That's okay, good. all right, cool, not cool. Very expensive drinks. Not very no, expensive not drinks. That's all. one drink basically. Dave, you're my boy. We ran into each other during that Rangers game. I'm sorry about the loss, but it was I was nice to meet your dad. Anyways, I like your Kings jersey. What's going on on Brooklyn? <laughs> Brooklyn. Uh, well, you can uh, learn all about how bedbugs took over the world, uh, which is finally. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you should. You got it's What do they say? Know your enemy. Right. Uh, so you can you can learn a little bit about the history of uh, how how bedbugs ruined everything for everyone uh, at the Brooklyn Brainery on Friday night. Uh, an author, uh, Brooke Borrow, so. wrote an entire book about it, um, and you know, I mean, I guess it's better than. They're, bed bugs are scary, but they're not like your life is over scary. Right. And, and you know, I think Depending. that if you well, I, I have survived them. <laughs> okay. Twice. Uh, so right. not to brag. Not to brag. It was right. Well, it's nothing to brag about. It's horrible. I know. I'm but right. it, your your life is not over. Uh, so you know, if you if you learn a little bit about them uh, and how they have spread and how they uh, But they've always been to... around though, right? Well, I right, and this is how they, you know, they, they, they were here and then they weren't and now they're, and now they're back, back again. again. My grandmother would tell Isn't me about so spraying the, the uh, bed, springs, bed springs down with like DEET. 
They oh, stopped. They stopped. They stopped doing things like that because yeah. it, was, it was bad yeah. for you. Yeah. Right. Um, so you're just gonna you can learn all about it, and then okay. once you you will maybe be a little more calm, and you can be afraid of other things like uh, spiders or the <laughs> scorpions that are like clear. Yeah, I'll never. Oh. Uh, I'll never be okay with any of that. I don't want to no. know about. Well, now Tati yeah. and I know where I we're know. going on Friday night. That's History right. of bed bugs. That's right. I know, right? Dick, what's next? Um, so <laughs> Sunday, June 14th, um, this week, um, ending on the 14th, is African Restaurant Week. Whoop, whoop. Um, <laughs> which, you know, cuisine-wise, you can, like, travel the whole uh, diaspora from top of the continent to the bottom of the continent. Yep, yep. Um, eating your way through it. Um, but this Sunday, um, down at Buna Cafe on Flushing, like Flushing and Knickerbocker, um, it's going to be a dinner, nice. which is basically what the um, the the... Uh, African Restaurant Week is about, but it's also going to be a performance of Fela Acoustic. Cool. Um, with my man Sa, we all know Sa, um, and Ricardo, and then after that is going to be a, a, a party with DJ Sirac and um, with the fun sound system. So cool. that should be really fun. That should be a lot of, it's, it's good food, it's a good live performance, nice. and then it is a um, DJ, and it's all kind of like in the kind of African they sure. asked for a kind of vibe. So there that should go. be very well to do on Sunday a Sunday. Sunday Buna Cafe. Before we get Sunday back Buna to Cafe. Dave Golan from Brooklyn, Ken, you want let's, us to shake these up or something? Yeah. Let's do a little shake. Let's, let's prepare our, uh, our cocktails. Yeah. You got to hold the lid and smile, right? Is that how you do oh it? Oh, my God. If, if you take hard oh enough, you can hear string bikinis. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I've got friends who arrived in Brazil this very morning. Oh, so nice. this is making me think oh, of everything. This is whatever. This is whatever. Yeah. Is whatever. yeah. <laughs> now we can pretend like that we're there in Brazil with them. Right. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Here's to the weekend, okay. and here's Indeed. to you, Tati, and BK Live. Yes, absolutely. Here's thank to Brazil. Boys. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Damn. It's different. It tastes like lemonade. It's, delicious. it's delicious. That's dangerous. That cool, yeah. Refreshing drink. That right Damn. there. I'm going to need you know, another. You can get these kits uh, at uh, Barsol. They've got a spot on uh, 4th Avenue and 10th Street or um, online, I was online at... Uh, Drink up and why? Whoa. Nice. Okay. So oh my gosh. Cool. I'm going to enjoy this. Cracking at Buna Cafe, Ethiopian food, and then. Uh, Dave, oh, Havana Outpost. This is yeah. right around the corner from Brick House. What's, what's popping at Havana Outpost? Uh, they're showing their show uh, movies every Sunday night. And in this instance, they're doing uh, El Cantante with uh, Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony. It's the story of the uh, godfather of salsa and how he brought it to America. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, your standard musician biopic. Uh, they were married Anthony. when they made that movie. Sounds good. I, yeah, you, so you're going to see some real chemistry there. That's, that's good. I'm glad I'm that someone knows that more about <laughs> J-Lo's uh, marriages uh, than I do. Right. Dick, what's uh, next? we got a lot more images more to that, get through. But he was a star before he even married her. So, Oh, this <laughs> is going to be dope. Owen Dippy um, is a really great artist. He's a, a great name. international known artist. Um, he's from New Zealand. I don't know what they call New Zealanders, because I know they call Australian it's Aussies. Kiwi. Kiwis. Kiwis. Yeah. Right, he's a Kiwi. Thank um, you, Ken. But he has these amazing, oh, his work is really amazing. He does these really, really large size um, portraits. Um, and he just did one during Bush, um, in Bush Collective for the Bush Over Studios. Mm -hmm. he, did, um, he did this marriage of Jay Z and Basquiat. What? So it was like the Jay Z. Face, face, but with like the Basquiat, the Basquiat hair, like I'm sure the, Basquiat would love that. <laughs> yeah, that was really dope. But he's <laughs> he's going to have a um a, a one man show, a solo okay. show at um Lowbrow Artique. That's great. Um, should, that's tomorrow night. And the opening is tomorrow night, six to nine. Dave, let's go to the next Brooklyn.com image real quick. This, oh, this uh, Jaws thing. This it's Jaws entirely from memory. It's a very strange idea, uh, but basically these people got some uh, good uh, improv uh, improvisers together and they're going to have to perform Jaws in front of a drunken audience live <laughs> entirely from memory. Oh, um, Tati's going to have to choose between five like, bugs and yeah, that. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I know. It's really totally oh. not niche weird things uh, week here on, uh, <laughs> on BK Live. But yeah, I mean, it sounds weird enough. So that's at Videoology. Uh, go see some people who apparently do not get stage fright. Okay, <laughs> then there's that. So Dick? what's up with Black Weirdo? Yeah, Black Weirdo, like, when I saw that flyer, I thought they were, like, mocking me. You know what and I mean. then I realized that it was an actual party. Um, and that is actually, what is this, Saturday, um, at a place called Come On Everybody, which used to be Amarachi Lounge on Franklin mm -hmm. Avenue. And it's, a, it's, it's basically a party where DJs play outside of your normal top 40-ness. Okay. Um, so disco, uh, you know, R&B, old funk, and soul. 
Um, and it's definitely a, um, you know, if, if you do some confetti in the crowd, whoever it hits is probably going to be an Afro, Afropunk as well. Yeah, So, like, it's much. one of those, and it's, it's kind of like a gay-friendly, it's a, it's a gay, uh, gay-centric and their allies kind of a party. Oh, I like it. AKA, it's a get down. One right. more image. I know, isn't Built to Spill playing the Northside Festival? What's going on with that, Dave? I don't know if they are. I was. I focused more on the free stuff. Go I ahead. Know Run the Jewels and is going to be I there. Cheers, yeah. I love cheers. Uh, and life sadly, right there. cheers. Yes. Sadly, the Run the Jewels show and the Nico K it's shows are bucks, not right? free. Uh, mm. But what is free, uh, Heems and the very best at McCarran Park. That's is great. free, uh, and that That's is sweet. on Friday. Uh, Saturday, it's against me and a bunch of special guests. I love it. McCarran Park. Well, That's they're going to be playing there on uh, free Saturday. Free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. Perfect. Uh, all for North Side. There's okay, also we have down. an entire guide on Brooklyn uh, uh, for what to do to see uh, North Side without having to pay yes. anything. Nice. Uh, which is which is always great. And you're good for that, Dave. I mean, thank you. I, I, I really do want to thank I Brooklyn do. for being good about free True. stuff. This city's too yes. expensive, it you is. know? The rent but is sometimes, too damn high. sometimes that simply entails climbing a fence. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, we'll you, talk about that off the air. If you want to try to <laughs> climb a fence <laughs> to get into the Williamsburg Park, I know. Go with, with God. <laughs> I'm going so. with right. God. So, thank you, Dick. Drink Dave. Is spectacular. Go Ken with Greg. Is fabulous so, as usual. Ken, Ken Gray from you guys. Ken Gray. Ken Gray knocked it down. Richard Burroughs knocked it up the from the Brooklyn Reader. And mm -hmm. Dave Colon from Brooklyn.com. Here's to the weekend. Thank you very much again, Ken. You're the best. Oh, is this the best? This is delicious. It is the bomb. The best is the best. Mm.